I welcome you back again to another video lecture on Python programming and in this video lecture we'll go ahead and I'll create a simple project that will help us to sum elements of diagonals of a matrix. Alright, so we're going to create, create a simple project that will add up the diagonals of a matrix from both sides. Let's go ahead and uh, say from, from random, go ahead and uh, import random so from random go ahead and import random and uh, let the rows be equal to let's say the rows let that be equal to five and uh, let the matrix be equal to empty matrix and uh, go ahead and use a for loop so for four for i in range of so for i in range of row we go ahead and uh, say my row is equal to empty string and uh, for j for j in range for j in range of row for j in range of row then my row dot append and you go ahead and append int append int random and go ahead and uh, multiply that let that be highest to be 10 then matrix dot append and go ahead and append my row all right so let's go ahead and print out the rows so go ahead and say for for my row in matrix so for my row in matrix go ahead and print that out go ahead and print my row all right so for the sum let's say sum underscore sum underscore diagonal sum underscore diagonal equal to zero and uh, sum underscore because we're printing both uh, summation of both diagonals sum of uh, diagonal 2 let that be diagonal 2 and let the first be diagonal 1 and diagonal 2 equal to 0 okay I hope that is better off go ahead and use a for loop to do that so for i in so for i in range of row then we go ahead and uh, say sum of uh, diagonal 1 plus equal to matrix and uh, matrix of uh, i by i okay and uh, next one is a uh, sum of diagonal 2 plus equal to matrix of uh, i and uh, row minus i minus 1 so we'll go ahead and uh, print out sum of diagonal 1 and uh, go ahead and print out sum of diagonal 2 so this is for i okay for i in range of row all right go ahead and run this code let's check it out so if everything been equal and uh, that is line 7 what could be the problem and uh, line 7 is my rule so let's check what that is 
Alright, so what happened now is that we have for J in range, this is not bracket, this is parenthesis. Please go ahead and remove that and put this to be row. Okay, so we need to be very careful when we're writing our code. Alright, so let's go ahead and run this code again and check it out. And now we have to add up 6 plus 4. So let's go ahead and add the first one, 6 plus 4, 6 plus 4. 4 plus 6 plus 9 plus 7 and that is equal to 32 for the first one the next one is uh clear this 5 plus 1 plus 6 plus 3 plus 5 and that is equal to 20 and that is 20 and 32 okay go ahead and run this code again and check it out I will have 24 and 14 and if you move this way to give you the last one and you go this way to give you the first one so i believe that is very cool please go ahead and put this down on your own system play around with it and check out more on that and then in case if you have any question please go ahead and use the question and the answer section and i'm going to get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much and i'm going to see you in the next video lecture